Hi everyone, welcome to Ask My Tablet, the show where the viewers send the questions for the video. And if you have A-L-E-X-A on your device, you may want to change to another device to watch this or put it on mute so that it doesn't get affected by when I say the word. All right, here we go. This is some first uh, couples from This and That with Debbie Jean. Alexa, when did they start making Little Debbie snack cakes? Here's something I found on the web. According to reference.com, created in 1960, Little Debbie snack cakes is a product line of cookie and cake desserts that was named after O.D. and Ruth McKee's four-year-old granddaughter, Debbie. I had to turn down the turnips. Hold on, just a minute. Yeah, we got some turnips going here. I got some turnips out of the garden. We got them and the greens going. Tonight I've got some chili in the crock pot and we're going to make some cornbread. So sorry I had to do that, but it was spilling over. It's starting to boil now. Should have gone them on a little bit earlier, but you know how it goes. Okay, so 1960. Wow. I didn't know they'd been around that long. I, that's one more, just one year difference. I was born in 59. Good grief. I don't remember. You know what? I do remember uh, my Mima which I call those plants, which I got off a of great Meemaw plant. Uh, she used to give me and, and my sister little bags when we would leave with little treats in them. I remember clear as day, oatmeal cakes, and I remember the raisin cakes. We always, always used to say raisin cakes was for old people, but I like them now. So <laughs> anyway... Uh, yeah, I remember that. So that had to be, you know, I was probably, that was probably in about 63. I remember about when I was four years old back that far. And I can remember her giving me that stuff. I'd get so excited when she'd give me that bag. All right. Uh, Alexa, when were Red Vines licorice first made? Here's something I found on the web. According to FeeTakeout.com, American Licorice Company, the company behind Red Vines has been around since 1914 when it was founded in Chicago. Wow, 1914. Okay, here we got a couple from Crystal's Pets and Plants. Check out this and that with Debbie Jean. Here that thing goes again. I'm going to have to turn it down. I'll, I'll put this off for a second. I guess I got it too full, but, you know, the, the greens, they really shrink, you know. It looks like a lot, and then after they cook, they're real, they get real... A smaller, a lot smaller. Okay, uh, yeah, check out this and that with Debbie Jean and check out Crystal's Pets and Plants. Uh, Alexa, who came up with gingerbread? Gingerbread is claimed to have been brought to Europe in 992 CE by the Armenian monk Gregory of Nicopolis. He left Nicopolis to live in Bondaroy, near the town of Pithiviers. He stayed there for seven years and taught gingerbread baking to French Christians. He died in 999. In the 13th century, gingerbread was brought to Sweden by German immigrants. Okay, and it shows, I guess, kind of looking like a cake there, but pretty yummy, yummy looking to say the least. Okay. And Alexa, who came up with the Pillsbury Doughboy? Alexa, who came up with the Pillsbury Doughboy? According to an Alexa Answers contributor, the mascot for the canned dough company, Pillsbury. Well, I know that. I guess she ain't going to do that one, sorry. Okay, here's, here's a couple from Sassy T. Okay. I, I hope she can do this one. Uh, Alexa... What's the name of the very first nurse? Here's something I found on the web. According to slideplayer.com, during peace, Rufoida, who in 
who was the first nurse in Islam, set up a tent outside the Prophet's mosque where she nursed the sick. Rufaida was the first nurse in Islam. Okay. And Alexa, who was the first colored doctor? Did I say it too fast? Let's try it. Alexa, who was the first colored doctor? Here's something I found on the web. According to orangecow.org, William Hartnell, the first Dr. William Hartnell, version 9 finished for animating in full color. Well, I guess Dr. William Hartnell. I don't understand what that last part is, though. Okay, we got several from California Karen789. Check out her channel and check out Sassy T also. Both good channels. All these are good channels. Here we go. Alexa, what is a cactus composed of? Cactus material is water. It's water, basically. Wow. Okay, let's show some water. <laughs> Okay, and Alexa, why do leopards have spots? Here's what I found on reference.com. The alternating dark and light patches on the coat of a leopard help to break up the outline of its body, allowing it to camouflage itself better in the grasslands or forests and hunt more effectively. It works on the principle of disruptive coloration, also exhibited by tigers and zebras. UCSB theorizes that the original gene that caused the spots on a leopard's coat may have been a mutation. Hmm. Interesting. And uh, Alexa, why do zebras have stripes? Scientists have many theories about why zebras have stripes. Some suggest they provide camouflage to confuse predators. Others that they help to identify individual zebras. New research shows that stripes may also prevent flies from biting as they become dazzled and unable to perform a controlled landing. Huh, how interesting. And uh, I got one from Connie's This and That. Check her out, y'all. Um, Alexa, can a person be allergic to fire ants? Here's something I found on the web. According to AlzwitchCenter.com, Red imported fire ant bites can cause allergic reactions in many people and severe allergic reactions for some people. Wow. And we got several here from Joe's Garden and Bees. Everybody check his channel out. He's been doing some updates lately on his uh, indoor garden. Okay. Uh, Alexa, what is the highest U.S. currency denomination ever made? According to an Alexa Answers contributor, the Federal Reserve Board currently issues $1, $2, $5, $10, $20, $50, and $100 notes. The largest denomination Federal Reserve note ever issued was the $10,000 note, which has been discontinued due to lack of use. Well, yeah. Although they were issued until 1969, they were last printed in 1945. Well, I mean... Who, who's going to pull a ten thousand dollar bill out? You know, I mean, who can even afford to get one? You know, what would you do? Like, here, just pay me a ten thousand dollar bill. I'll be okay. I don't know if I can break it anywhere though. I didn't think about that. <laughs> okay. Oh uh, yeah, uh, Alexa, how much gold is stored at Fort Knox? According to an Alexa Answers contributor. Fort Knox currently houses 147.3 million ounces of gold. There's gold in them there, Fort Knox. Okay. Alexa, what is the largest uncut diamond ever found? Here's something I found on the web. According to geologian.com, the largest uncut diamond ever found was the Cullinan discovered in 1905 about 18 feet below ground in the walls of the Premier Diamond Mine, about 24 miles east of Pretoria, South Africa. Didn't exactly say how big it was, just that it was the biggest. Okay, Alexa, what is the most expensive piece of jewelry? 
One moment. Here's what I found. <laughs> High Carer Jewelry Set. It's sixteen dollars and ninety nine cents. Hey, sixteen ninety nine. Customized BFF necklace set of three slash four slash five slash six with Rolo cable chain friendship slash family jewelry. Right. It's twenty four dollars and ninety nine cents. All right. El Throri waist beads body jewelry. Colorful belly beads. Bead jewelry. Belly chains. It's five dollars and ninety nine cents. Mm. And more. Well, see, jewelry's not all that expensive after all. I don't know what she would I would have to say to make it her understand. Uh, Alexa, how much is the most a piece of jewelry ever sold for? Do you want to know the price for a piece of jewelry? No. All right. <laughs> Alexa, what is the highest a piece of jewelry ever sold for? Here's something I found on the web. She went back. According to Gia.ai, oh, industry analysis the Zoe Diamond, a 9.75 count pair shaped fancy vivid blue diamond set a record for the highest per carat price of any gemstone sold at auction. Didn't say how much, though. Okay, we'll go on. Uh, Alexa, who is the richest family in the world? The richest household is Carlos Slim Hello. Hmm. Rich. Richest household. And, Alexa... Who is the richest man in the world? The wealthiest male person is Jeff Bezos. As of 2020, his estimated net worth is 183 billion 600 million US dollars. Jeff Bezos is an entrepreneur and a computer scientist. He has been associated with Amazon, D, Eshaw and Company, and Bankers Trust. I don't think he'd ever spent could ever spend that much money. You know? Then you got Bernard Arnault, 140.4 billion. Bill Gates, oh, he's just in the middle. He's poor. 119 billion. Yeah, pocket change. Elon Musk, 104.5 billion. And Mark Zuckerberg, 101.7 billion. He's, and we're wondering where I have the next money to get groceries, you know? Come on. Well, how about this one? Alexa? Who is the richest woman in the world? Okay. The wealthiest female person is Alice Walton. As of 2020, her estimated net worth is 69 billion 500 million US dollars. Alice Walton is a philanthropist, an entrepreneur, an art collector. Well, well. And it doesn't show this next one. Let's see. Lillian Bedencourt, 44.9 billion. Beat. Heister and Carl something, 41.3 billion, and Jacqueline Mars, 28.9 billion. Well, well, that's just chump change. All right, this is from my wife, Joy. Alexa, what is the longest road in the world? The longest road is Pan American Highway, which is 18,600 miles oh. long. So, you know, your, your kids would be like, when are we gonna get there? We're going to get there soon. I only got 18 more thousand miles to go and we'll be there. You can wait to go to the bathroom. <laughs> okay. Didn't you hate that when your parents be, you'd be like, I got to go to the bathroom, Dad. Oh, you can wait. We'll, we'll get to the next rest stop. I'd be like, well, there's one. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, I missed that one. It'll be the next one. Huh? <laughs> okay. Uh, and we're in. Okay. These last two are from Vicky G. Alexa, where and what year was the first Thanksgiving Day Parade? This might answer your question. The Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade started on November 28, 2019, at 9 a.m. I said the first. 
I'm just going to say what year. Alexa, what year was the first Thanksgiving Day Parade? The first occurrence of Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade was 1924. Wow. That's, wow. In, in 2024, that'd be 100 years. So, mm, that's a lot of parades. All right. I bet they'll have a blowout 2024. All right. Alexa, what year did Lady Bird Johnson dedicate the Redwood National Park? Here's something I found on the web. According to Oranger.com, it was Lady Bird's second visit to the area in less than a year. She dedicated Redwood National Park on November 25th, 1968. Wow, it's just a few days ago with the anniversary of that. Wow, that's cool. Okay, uh, Alexa, tell me a joke. I wouldn't recommend playing football with fungi. They're always spore losers. Spore loser. <laughs> Alexa, tell me a joke. Why was Cinderella wandering around the pumpkin patch? She was in the market for a new ride. <laughs> okay, it's getting to where I'm on. She's been telling the same knock knock jokes again, so tonight I'm going to do two more jokes. Alexa, tell me a joke. This fall, please be nice to your barista. Otherwise, you might end up with a pumpkin spite latte. Pumpkin spite latte. <laughs> Alexa, tell me a joke. Why are coffee beans such troublemakers? They always end up in hot water. <laughs> All right, everybody. I hope you enjoyed tonight's Ask My Tablet. Uh, I've already got several. Uh, I didn't. Uh, Vicky was the last one, and she gave me five, and I needed two, so three. I've got three towards uh, tomorrow's or whenever, whenever we get them. Uh, but we uh, are getting some. They're just great questions, y'all. Appreciate them so much, and uh, they're interesting. And I, you know, I, I hope this this show seems to be picking up a little bit, uh, viewer wise. So. Uh, all y'all that are new, don't hesitate to give some questions. You know, if you if you can think up some, or uh, you know, if you see something somewhere you'd like to know about, shoot a question over this way, and we'll ask her. So, I appreciate everybody very much watching. Um, I'm not going to do anything else tonight. I'm going to take it easy, and I will see uh, everybody in the morning at morning devotions. Please press that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit that. So you get all my videos as soon as they come out. Everybody have a great evening. Uh, the crock pot's got that chili in it. It should be ready in about a half hour. So we need to get some cornbread started and get these turnip greens finished up. Yum. All right. Well, it's not just greens. It's got the turnips in them. And they were about as big as a, a, a tennis ball. All of them. I, I got four of them. And uh, that's plenty. So... Thanks for watching, everybody, and I'll see you in the morning. God bless.